King's social justice fight is still relevant today. And Congresswoman Gwen Moore and Common Council President Cavalier Johnson are with us now to reflect on what's going today. And we're going to begin with you, Representative Moore, as the first African American to represent Wisconsin in the House and as someone who's been in the trenches fighting for civil rights. What message would you like to send on a day like today? Thank you so much for having me. And this is an important day. Uh, I happen to be of an age where I lived contemporaneously with Dr. King. But I think it's important to portray his values for generations, current and future. The message that I would give to, to them are, are, are things that Dr. Martin Luther King said. He said that he, he recognized that, uh, that inequality, the inability to vote, uh, that lack of economic uh, opportunity, uh, racial discrimination, all these things militated against our having a more perfect union. And so the same sort of struggles that people experienced during the first Reconstruction and the second Reconstruction that the professor talked about when we were fighting for public accommodations for voting rights, those issues are front and center today. Uh, and it's, it's incumbent upon every generation to fight for their rights. And so, uh, you know, whether you're 69 or 16, um, it's important uh, to do that. We did what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said. He said, we're gonna march on these ballot boxes until we elect people who will do justice. And when we did that, there was a huge backlash, but we must continue to have faith because our struggle is just. So, President Johnson, what about that? When we look at the disparities and we look at what's happening in Milwaukee, it's still one of the worst cities in America for African Americans. And when you see those disparities, they're not just numbers. These are real life facts for many people. What needs to be done? I know that's a broad question, so how would you narrow that? Well, uh, first of all, thank you, Charles, uh, and thank you, Carol, for inviting uh, Congressman Moore and myself uh, to join you here today. Uh, you're right. Uh, Milwaukee, unfortunately, uh, continues to year after year top the list of the worst, uh, worst place in the country to raise uh, a black child, uh, worst place uh, in the country for uh, the ec the uh, ed education achievement gap between black students and white students. Uh, one of the worst places uh, in the country if you're a person of color looking for work and having reliable uh, public uh, transportation access to places where you can get family support and jobs. You know, Dr. King's message in you know, one of his last speeches was about um, making sure that people had the opportunity to have just those things, uh, access to quality uh, family supporting work. In fact, the March on Washington was not just about uh, racial justice. It was about uh, equality. It was about jobs too. And so there's a lot of work uh, that needs to be done. And we see that, uh, you mentioned that a little bit. Uh, when we see people marching in the streets of Milwaukee today about racial injustice. Um, so there's a lot of work that needs to be done yet, and we can get there, uh, but we can't get there if we just turn around and not uh, embrace new leadership, right? We have to make sure that we're always, you know, striving to uh, listen to people who have a different point of view. And we can't just outwardly reject uh, something just because it, it doesn't fit your normal uh, business of doing things. So um, that's what uh, Dr. King uh, represented. And that's what we got to embrace if we want to move you know, this thing forward for not just you know, people of color, not just African-Americans, but for all Americans. Well, Common Council President uh, Sh Cavalier Johnson and Congresswoman Grim Moore, we appreciate you being with us this afternoon and giving us your reflections. We wish we had more time to talk with you, but obviously it's very limited during this time. And still ahead, 